Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy method on how to turn your logos into 3D using Cinema 4D. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dreadlabs and I'm a graphic designer and visual artist. And in today's video, we are going to use a new feature in Cinema 4D that a lot of people wanted, including myself, an easier method on how to turn your logo into a 3D object. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So what we got here is a simple toxic biohazard vector image. I got this from the Dread Shapes Volume 5, which you can get on my website if you're interested. And we've done nothing special with this. We've basically saved this as a Illustrator file. And in Cinema 4D, all you need to do is go to File, Merge, click on your Illustrator file and click OK. And this basically drops in your Illustrator file into the project that you're currently using. Under the Object tab, you can actually increase the size of your image uh, as well as the Extrude depth. And of course, you also have a Capture option. So as you can see, nowadays you can finally import an Illustrator file into Cinema 4D and it immediately turns your object into a 3D model, which has basically the same settings as an Extrude object. So it saves you a couple of steps. If you have an older version of Cinema 4D, there's actually a fairly simple workaround for this as well. All you need to do is go to your Illustrator file, click on File, Save As, save it somewhere. And before you click OK, when this window pops up, change this to Illustrator 8, click on OK. Click OK again, go back to Cinema 4D. I'm gonna make a new file. Again, go to File, Merge, and then click on the Illustrator 8 file and click on OK. And this will import your Illustrator file as a couple of splines, as you can see here. It'll always be misaligned in the beginning, uh, but now you have all of your objects as a spline object. So yeah, guys, that's all there is to it. A fairly simple and easy tutorial. I figured I'd show you the new method on how to import your logos into Cinema 4D and create some cool 3D logos. If you want to see more tutorials, I have a channel with over 100 tutorials related to graphic design, 3D and animation. If you have any follow-up questions or tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments comments, leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't done that already. And with all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.